It's the 16th of January, and again, an away game, and at Nottingham Forest, and we were shocking. We've lost 3-1 today. We were absolutely dog shit. We are useless. We don't, we don't know any of our positions. We, 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 early part of the season, defending, we were brilliant. We were brilliant defending. Our defence now hasn't got a clue. You know, we, we've let some real silly goals go in there, but that wasn't just defence. I mean, they're not being picked up in midfield. And we only scored two goals there. He should have been taken out by them. He should have been out of position. He, he, he should, he should have been picked up. He shouldn't be allowed to hit a ball in like that. Right across Bart. I feel sorry to Bart. I mean, the he's, he's hardly put a front wrong today, Bart. And he's been punished three times. He's three times had to pick the bite back of his net. Why? Because the team are not playing for each other. They don't know what they're doing. they got no positional player at all. We've got no creative midfielder whatsoever. It's a fucking joke. It's an absolute fucking joke. As strikers, he's playing all these different formations. It's not working. It's not working, but none of them look like scoring. You know, none of them, none of, we're not, I think one of the first half come in, it comes into the box, and Zoho, he's got to wrap his foot around it, yeah? Forrest would have done it. Grabman gets that opportunity, it's a goal. Christie, Amiobi, it's a goal. But at least a decent effort that works the keeper. Uh, I mean, Zoho's one is shocking. Para, this great hope that was coming from Tottenham, 20 goals a season in a sort of Harry Kane mould, if you like, does, is doing nothing. It's not working. Wallace today is absolutely gone missing. Does all these little flicks around the corner. They do fucking nothing. But when we get the ball, there was four Forest players on our player. There's no one near near him, near our player to give him an option. I don't think Ryan Lennon played too bad today. I think I don't know why he ever left out the sign. Woods, he had a not too bad game, but again he's isolated with where he is. Pierce, Hutchinson. Distribution was absolutely shocking coming out of the fence there. They're finding the next player, giving the ball away all the time. Cooper wasn't much better. You know, he's let a few slip. He, he ducked one night, left it to go, and he's just running on goal. He's running on goal. You think, why, why has he left the ball? Why have you left the ball behind you? Millwall is not not playing nowhere near the Millwall way. They're not putting the effort in. There's no challenges flying in. A plus, I would say, is McNamara. You know, he's, he gets forward, he gets... But they don't, they don't use him enough. They don't use him enough. He's getting some great balls in the box. No one's attacking the keeper. Keepers, oh my fucking... Get, Mendy. Oh, not his, no, not Mendy. What's his name? Uh, Samba. He is shocking. He is shit. We've not even tested him. He drops more than a clumsy fucking waiter. He, he's shocking. You know, he, he spilled so many things in the past and we've not capitalised on it. We put him under pressure... With a Ben Thompson goal, and he spills it, and it gets it goes in. Why? Why are we not putting him under more pressure? Hutchinson was unlucky with a head of going towards the back post. That's going in another day. But they got a player there, so you can't really grumble. But we are not creating enough chances. The balls in the box distribution is shocking. It's absolutely shocking. They're passing it out to the next person. They don't, they don't even know where they are. It's going sideways, going back. It's losing momentum. I think all three goals we put ourselves under the pressure. It was a bad balls into the box or bad ball into someone's feet. It's just an easy little one-two with like Lamy Obi's goal. It's a goal. Well, well, well we're not picking, we're not pressurising them. We should be making them challenges, making them count now. That team is not playing for Gary Rowett whatsoever, and things have got to massively change. Now I don't believe it's just the manager. I believe Mill's squad is very uh, quite a good little squad, but we're not playing with any fluency or consistency with the team he's putting out there. So therefore. If you if you got Forest, for instance, you've got Christian and Obi and um, grabbing up top, yeah, every week in, week in, week out. We don't got that. We keep rotating them, so you're not going to get the fluency up there. You're not going to get the consistency. But we need to bring a few faces in. We need to bring a really good goal striker in there who's going to get us some goals old school, if he's going to be saying from the Premiership on loan or, or something good in, in Division 1 or Division 2. We need a creative midfielder who can score 10 to 15 goals a season. Why not give Thompson a bit of a run in the team? He's bringing them on too late in the game, but he's, he seems to be at least wanting to do something. But Millwall, that is fucking useless. This should give you a wages to charity this week because that was fucking dog shit. All right? We'll come on, on to the next game. Another one away at Huddersfield. Come on, you Lions!